Hello children, how are you doing today? I know you're feeling great. We will be having fun learning music today. Who is excited? Well, I am. It is time for us to know our music letters. We have seven music letters starting with A and ending with G. So we're going to start with the first letter, letter A, then the second one, letter B, then the third one, C, the fourth one, D, the fifth one, E, the sixth one, F, and the seventh one, G. Say it with me. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Can we say it again? A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. You can see? It's very simple, right? Awesome. Now we're going to talk about the clefs. We have two clefs the treble clef and the bass clef. Can you say the treble clef? Awesome. It looks great. I know you're ready to draw the treble clef. Don't worry, we're going to work on that. Now it's time for the bass clef. Can you see the bass clef? Wow. Do you know how it looks like? Wow. So this is bass clef. Always remember your bass clef. It's very important to remember your treble clef and your bass clef. Now it's time for us to know our staff. A staff has five lines and four spaces. Five lines and four spaces. Can we count the lines? Let's count it together. One, two, three, four, five. Five good lines. Wow. Now let's count the spaces. One, two, three, four. This is simple. Amazing. So we have five lines and four spaces. Do you see how the staff look like? You really need to remember this. So anywhere you come across a staff, you should know this is a staff. Now it's time for us to talk about the treble clef and the staff together. So I want to add my treble clef and the staff together. So if I'm bringing both the treble clef and the staff together, they're going to become one. Wow! Isn't that exciting? They're going to become one. So now, I'm having the treble clef and the staff together. You can see it. Wow! Then the name is also going to change. So I'm going to be calling this Hmm, hmm. Guess. Wow. Treble staff. Awesome. You got it. So this is treble staff. The combination of the treble clef and the staff. Awesome. Wow. So now it's time for us to bring in our bass clef and the staff together. Remember what we did for the treble clef and the staff. Become a treble staff. We're going to do the same thing for the bass clef. So if I'm having my bass clef with my staff, so it's going to become what? Guess what the name is going to be? Wow, smart one. This is bass staff. So bass staff is a combination of the bass clef and the staff. So now we've talked about treble staff and bass staff. So it's now time for us to talk about our music note. So this is crochet. Remember, crochet has one count. Then we have minim. Minim has two count. Then we'll talk about semi-brief. Semi-brief has four counts. So you need to remember crochet, one count, minim, two count, and semi-brief, four count. Let's take it one more time. Crochet, one count, minim, two count, semi brief four count awesome okay so now we're moving to the keyboard 
so now can you see the two black keys the two black keys now we have the two black keys and c the c is just right before the two black keys you should remember that now we've talked about the two black keys and c yeah two black keys and c then you should also remember your five fingers your c finger your d finger your e finger your f finger and your g finger awesome let's read again show me your c finger your d finger your e finger your f finger and your g finger awesome awesome well done i know you enjoyed the class awesome great so we're going to continue next time bye